So welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a review and a walkthrough of the Radisson Blue Resort and Spa, which is located in Puerto Mogan, which is in the south of the Gran Canaria Island. So here is the hotel from the outside, and we're just going to walk through and have a look at the lobby area. So for me, the check-in process was quite easy. I had paid for my stay in advance, so it was just a matter of photocopying my passport. And they offered me uh, some beverages, so they offered me uh, white wine and orange juice on arrival. And there's also porters available to help you take your bags to your room. The lobby area was very well decorated, it seemed quite open plan, spacious, and we're just going to have a quick walk to the hotel room. When you're walking through this area, it kind of makes you realise how big this resort is. It spans over two floors, you can see just below that's where there's a bar area. And just have a look at this view on the left, so th this is where you'll see all the swimming pools and lounges. So from here the resort is kind of organised into rooms on the left and on the right. My room was on the left side and throughout the resort there are maps for you to help orientate yourself and locate various facilities. So let's have a look at the room that I stayed in. So I stayed in room 1135. And I booked a superior room with pool view. And they have two twin beds which have been pushed together to make a double. And they also included a sofa bed here, so they already had the sofa bed laid out. And the room has two phones there which you just saw, and let's have a look at the view from the balcony. So they have two sun loungers and a table for you to sit on. It's quite a big balcony actually. And the view from the room is just lovely in my opinion. You can see the pools quite clearly. And I love that you can see the volcanic rocky kind of hill in the background there, which is kind of, which is just there around the resort. It's really nice when you're in the pool and you can see that as well. It looks uh, quite spectacular. And let's have a look back in the room. So this is the view from the other side, looking in from the balcony. If you're staying with Radisson, you can always expect there to be quite premium furniture in the room. Everything's always good quality and um, I love the design of it. So they gave some complimentary water and they also provide a kettle and there's various coffees and teas there. Underneath we have a drawer and we have a safe as well. And then there's a mini fridge there too. And these are the wardrobes here. This is the closet space. So they have included an iron with an ironing board. 
and there's uh, like a shoe shine kit, a sewing kit. Uh, there's a shoe horn there as well. And I think that's a laundry uh, request form there as well. So more drawers as well. There's no shortage of closet space. They've included two gowns there with slippers as well. And uh, more drawers just here as well. Now let's have a look at the bathroom. So that was a nice sliding door to enter into the bathroom area. Now there was a bath there and a separate shower, which has a wet floor. And there are two sinks there, so his and her sink. And they have shower gel, lotion, shampoo. I always love Radisson's shower gel especially. I think it smells very nice. And then here is the toilet. And that's a hairdryer there and some more towels. So this is the bathroom. And this is the sofa bed. I've put the bed back in, so this is what it looks like with just the sofa. But yeah, let me know what you think of this room and if you would like to stay in this room when you visit this hotel. I thought I'd also include a view from the balcony around evening time. It looks amazing when all of the lights are lit up around the hotel and it's starting to get dark. And just here on the right, if you walk for about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll get to play a Mogan. So now we're gonna move on to breakfast at the hotel. So this was the walk down to the breakfast area. You had the option of eating breakfast inside or outside. Breakfast starts at around seven o'clock in the morning and it's up until around half 10 in the morning.
So now we're going to move on to the evening meal at the hotel. So this may be included in your package or you could pay for the meal separately if you don't want to, you know, eat here every night during your stay. So it's in the same area where breakfast is served and it's served as a buffet.
So if you don't fancy having a buffet, there is an a la carte restaurant called Fellini. So I thought I would just take some videos of the restaurant so you know what it looks like. I didn't have any food here. The staff told me that it's very nice and it was busy every evening. But I just stuck with the buffet restaurant during my stay. But this is also an option available to you if you wish. Now let's have a look at the swimming pools of the hotel. So we have the first swimming pool here. This is the quiet swimming pool. It's heated. And it's quite large in size. There are sun lounges around the swimming pool, quite a lot of them as well. And there's also like a bit of a jacuzzi there as well. So this is the quiet pool. You can see how large it is. I hope that comes across on video. There's plenty of space to swim or relax in this pool. And there's a pool bar just located on the side there as well. Okay, now let's have a look at the other pool. So this is on the other side of the hotel. So there is a large pool and a kid's pool next to each other. This is a salt water pool. It's not heated, whereas the other one was heated. And again, plenty of sun lounges around these, these two pools. They also have showers dotted around as well. The kids pool has this large balloon which kids were jumping on and there's also like these arches and these buckets which fill up with water and drop water down. These pools have a pool bar next to them also. So this is the pool bar next to these pools. There's also plenty of seating there as well. So now we're going to move on to the gym and spa of the hotel. So here is the gym. I believe access to the gym was up until around 9 p.m. So you can see it's quite good for a hotel gym. Lots of cardio machines, lots of machined weights. There's a water machine there and also an area for free weights. There's a smith machine there and they also had this kind of cable machine. I, I love when hotels have like a cable machine. Now we're going to move on to the spa, which is just located right next to the gym. I wasn't allowed to film too much around the spa area. So I just show you what it looks like from the outside. And you can also see there is a sauna and steam room on the side and some sun lounges at the back. The spa area also includes a salon, which you can see here as well. Now we're going to move on to general facilities around the hotel. So there was a tennis court, a volleyball area, an area for climbing. So they had climbing frames and a rock climbing Kind of wall as well. 
So this is the climbing area. This was the rock climbing wall. So there's one for kids and then one for adults. And that blue strip that you saw is actually a running track. So I thought I'd show you the length of this running track. They also have an area for football and basketball. Now there is a yoga deck on the fourth floor. The yoga deck is only open when the yoga session is taking place. So if you want to visit it outside of that time, then it won't be open. But that's the yoga deck. Usually it's every day at 11 a.m. And now we have the kids area. So I'm gonna talk about things that are available for kids. We have this play area where there's set times where it's open and you can leave your kids. If they're above the age of four, then they can play around in this play area. So they have a variety of activities every day for kids. Uh, near reception, there's like a, a board which shows you all the events that are on. Those posters below are for adults, but on the top, that's the animation program for kids. So every day there's activities like football, darts, the VIP club, karaoke. There's even a spa day for kids. So that's something to look into as well when you arrive. Yeah, these are, below is uh, the kind of entertainment for adults. I'll just show you where most of these are done. So these are done in the entertainment bar. So that's just in this area here. I'll just walk to it. It's right next to where this, this information board was. So just here on the right is the entertainment room. I filmed here during the day, so it was quiet and they were cleaning it, but it's very lively in the evening times. And again for kids, so outside that kids uh, group, there's that play area. They have an area for table tennis, air hockey, and uh, snooker, and also basketball. and they have a few arcade machines there as well. So parking at the hotel, they have their own garage, which is quite spacious. So this is the garage parking for the hotel. You can just see how big that is. There is also some parking outside of the hotel as well. So just near the entrance, there are a few parking spaces here too.
parking I would say at the hotel isn't really much of an issue. There's also some parking spaces on the street outside the hotel if you wanted to use those as well. Which you can just see here. Okay, so this is going to be the end of my review and walkthrough. I had a fantastic time staying at this resort. I would highly recommend you to come and stay at this hotel resort. I really think you will enjoy yourself because they have all the facilities you could need. Let me know what you think of the hotel so far and when you're planning on visiting. If you could do me a favor and like the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, it really helps my channel to grow and it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, that's all for today's video, so thank you for watching.